your foot is facing this way and you're turning this way, you're gonna put a lot of torque on your knee and it's gonna hurt it. So it's very important that you pay attention to the angles of your back foot and they match up with the correct pose so that you're not hurting your joints, you're keeping them nice and safe. So this top foot's always gonna be at 90 degrees. So all you'd have to do if you're feeling really flexible or if you're taller is step above it right here. And if you're shorter or tighter, just step below it. So your foot doesn't have to go exactly on it. It can go above or below it. And it's gonna be like in that same place for all the poses on the mat. It makes it really simple. So the only thing you're looking out for is the angles of your back foot, which are very important because that's what's gonna keep your joints safe that they are strengthening and stretching for those people that don't have an hour in their day to get to a yoga class. If they just want to do yoga at home and they don't really know where to start, they have time to strengthen their bodies and stretch their bodies with these poses on the mat. The poses get harder as you work your way down the mat. So if you're new, you can start with the first five and then add the twisting ones on later. But certain people will look at an image and just not know how to even get there or what to do next to make that shape. So that's where the foot placements come into play. The feet are the foundations to your body. So you set your feet up first, then you look at the hand placement if there is one to see whether it's your right or your left hand. And then you look at the image to move your body to copy the pose. Today in yoga, there's a lot of arms happening. And a lot of people have shoulder injuries. I certainly do. I have a, a plate with 13 screws in there. I broke my arm in half uh, several years ago. Yoga has really helped get my body back on track throughout all of my injuries. And it's been really nice for me to know that there's always something I can typically do no matter how injured I am in yoga. Even if it's just that I'm stretching out my toes, there's something that I can do. So I think it's a practice that can grow with you and I just want to make it more readily available to people that don't know where to start. I am a 200 hour certified and registered yoga teacher with Yoga Alliance and I have been practicing yoga since I was four years old.